channel my name is Susie also known as Fit Susie and today I'm going to show you guys a few recipes air fryer recipes I know you guys have been asking for those so I'm finally gonna do it and I'm also gonna review a new air fryer that I got so if you're excited to watch this video please give it a thumbs up and please don't forget to subscribe and to turn on your post notifications so you don't miss any of my videos if you are new to my channel welcome and if you're not so let's go ahead and begin um, I'll probably start by showing you guys the air fryer. Um, this is the air fryer and it's called Westa. It is from Amazon. I do have a discount code for it, a 10% discount code and I'm gonna leave it in the description below and the link where you can purchase it. So it's kind of like an, well look at this, it says toast, air roast, broil, bake, air fryer. It gives you like the temperature, like the temperature option here and the timer and I love that it has a lot of functions here. It's kind of like a mini oven, I think. That's what it looks like. And obviously it says here, bake, broil. So it's amazing. I haven't tried it, but obviously I'm gonna try it here for the first time, but I'm pretty sure I'm gonna like it. So I'm gonna show you guys inside. It has two compartments. It has this, which I'm pretty sure this is where you put your food, because it has a little holes for the, like the oils and grease to fall off. And then it has this little tray. And it has this. I'm pretty sure it's like to bake also. And it also has this removable crumb tray. So this is a crumb tray that obviously if anything falls, you can easily remove it to clean it, which is amazing. So I'm gonna try it today with you guys. And hopefully I love it. I was gonna try to do two at once, but I think I'm gonna do one at a time because I want the full result. I'm gonna be making Parmesan chicken and sweet potato fries. So let's go ahead and begin. Oh, and it also has this little thing that is to grab um, or put in your food. So let me try it. Whoa. So I'm gonna go ahead and preheat the air fryer at 350 degrees. And it's gonna be, I'm just gonna put 30 minutes for now. And it's in the function air fry. And then I'm gonna show you guys the ingredients for the chicken. That's what I'm doing first. And then I'm gonna do the sweet potato fries. I used chicken breast with no skin. I'm gonna use um, panko, half a cup of panko, and I'm gonna pour it here. And then I have around half a cup of cheese. Here we're using 2% mozzarella. Obviously I would have preferred Parmesan because it's supposed to be like a Parmesan crusted chicken, but I don't have any, so hopefully this works. Uh, and then we're gonna add a little bit of salt, a little bit of garlic, and lastly, a little bit of chili powder. If you don't like like spicy, don't, but it, it's not really that spicy. It just gives it some flavor. And we're just gonna mix. My hands are sanitized. And then we're gonna set that aside. And this is very, very easy. We're just gonna crack an egg here. And just beat it. And then now we're gonna just, um, if your chicken bread is too thick, we're gonna cut it in half. We want to make it a little bit thinner so it doesn't take forever to cook and it fully cooks inside. Let me paint a picture. I see they don't understand. Feeling like Picasso. She brushing against my hands. See you from around the way. You didn't give me the time of day. You be making moves that you who really care what Simon say. All the bad things, girl, I had to look past that. Call yourself a dime. I'm just trying to get my cash back. You be Take care so I can put my chicken in there. The first thing I'm gonna do, I'm gonna obviously dip it in the egg so the panko and the cheese can stick and then we're gonna place it onto the crumbs and the cheese. You wanna coat it very good. And we're gonna place it onto the... I didn't spray it with anything, well, I guess we're gonna see how it goes. So now the next breast. Um, I'm just gonna put it in for tw uh, 20 minutes just to start off and I'm gonna check it and I'm gonna try and flip it halfway uh, so one side doesn't cook more than the other. And I'm just gonna keep an eye on it. I don't want the chicken to overcook and become very dry. She's a Mona Lisa. Everyone's lining up to see her. 
She's a Mona Lisa. Okay, so while that's in there, we're gonna uh, prep our potatoes. You can either cut them however you want. I'm gonna make them like fries. So I'm gonna get a better knife. By the way, these are already washed. You can cut them as thick or as thin as you'd like. Obviously, the thinner, the faster they're gonna cook. Here are three small potatoes. Now I'm just gonna spray them with olive oil cooking spray. <clears throat> you can also drizzle a little bit if you have the real one. And then I'm gonna add a little bit of garlic powder. And then a little bit of sea salt. So a little bit of chili powder. So I'm just waiting for the chicken to be done and then I'm gonna put these in. Okay, so I wanna show you guys really quick. It's been less than 10 minutes and look how the chicken is looking already. And it smells so bomb. Okay, so it looks like it might be ready. So I'm just gonna take it out. It's been about 15 minutes. And I'm just gonna place it here to cool down. And look how this looks. It looks like it's ready. It looks crispy. I'm gonna poke it with a knife. I wanna make sure it's cooked through the inside. So it looks like it is fully cooked and it tastes really bomb. According to my boyfriend, it tastes like a chicken bake. Like a Costco chicken bake. So this is how the thing looked after. I feel like I had to spray it a little bit. I didn't think of that. But it wasn't too bad. And the chicken is perfectly cooked. Like I said, it was about 15 to 20 minutes. But obviously if you, it depends on you, like how big your chicken is or how thinner. Maybe if it's thinner then it'll probably, or smaller, it'll probably need less time. And then regarding this, Obviously it is chicken breast, so it doesn't really have a lot of fat, but that's all that came came out of it, just like a few drops. But if you would have used like chicken wings or, or like a chicken thigh that has a little bit a little bit more fat, so you would probably have more things there. Now we're gonna put in the fries and I'm gonna do it again for about 20 minutes and try and flip them. By the way, I forgot to flip this one because time went by really quick, but it was still fine like that. So next time I'm gonna add Spray okay, so we sprayed that already and we're gonna oh, and washed it. We're just gonna place the potatoes. Make sure they're not on top of each other because then they're not gonna evenly cooked. And then I should have my spray to make sure they're coated. I'm, again, I'm gonna put 20 minutes and then we'll see how fast they're ready. And they are at 350 degrees. Okay, so they've been there for about 18 minutes. And I'm gonna just check, um, kind of like flip them around. Okay, so they look like they're almost ready. I'm just gonna kind of move them around and... Oh, perfect timing. So I'm gonna take them out. I think they're ready. But I'm just gonna place them here to cool down. This is pretty much how they look. I'm gonna review them once they're done and I'm gonna let you guys know how they are. All right, guys, so here is the complete meal. And the soup potatoes, I think they're fine. They're perfectly seasoned. Obviously, you can add or take out whatever you want. You can make it uh, to you, to your liking. And then I added some steamed broccoli because I need my veggies. And you can also roast them, actually. Ro roasted veggies are so bomb, but obviously, I already roasted too much, so I'm gonna do that next time. And then the potatoes, I think next time I'm gonna do them a little bit thick thinner so they can be a little bit more crispy but um, and I added a little bit of reduced sugar ketchup and this is it so that was it for this video guys thank you so much for watching um you can use the air fryer for absolutely anything like you can even make like wings in there like um anything that you would like fry like maybe like real tacos i made real tacos in the air fryer and i have a real taco recipe in my mexican cookbook if you are interested i'm gonna link it in the description below but you can basically make anything there you can bake anything so i really 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 recommend it so please don't miss out on the, the discount code that it's gonna be down below so thank you guys so much for watching if you enjoyed it please give it a thumbs up and let me know what recipe you would like to try in the air fryer and thank you again for all your support and your love i love you guys so 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 much please remember to do what's right and what's easy and i'll see you guys in the next video bye